Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss how to pair two classic colors in menswear, brown and gray. While both gray and brown are foundational colors in a classic men's wardrobe, they're less conventionally paired together. By the way, if you want to learn more about how to pair neutral colors, such as brown and gray, including others such as khaki, green, and blue, please check out this video here. And for comparison, you may also want to check out the video of how to combine brown and blue shades together. So why would you pair brown and gray together in the first place? Well, brown is generally a warmer tone, whereas gray is generally a cooler tone. Under normal circumstances, these two shades are combined with more contrasting and sometimes also more vibrant shades rather than with each other. But honestly, there's no reason why you can't pair them together, especially because brown comes in so many different shades all the way from a very light beige or tan, dark chocolate brown over medium tans and browns. The same is true for gray. You can find it in mottled knit ties or two-tone knit ties. In suits, you can have dark gray flannels or light gray frescoes. You can have gray sweaters such as turtlenecks or scarves, or for example, gloves or boots. Because both colors have so many shades, it's very easy to find a combination that provides enough contrast. And even if the tones are rather similar, you can add a pattern to mix everything up. Now, this is just a general overview. So. How can you pair brown and gray together specifically? Here are six tips. One, always pay attention to contrast because there has to be a lot. The issue is if there isn't enough contrast between your brown and your gray, it all looks muddy, it looks very close in color, but not quite the same, and it looks weird. For example, look at this combination of a gray turtleneck sweater with a houndstooth jacket. Even though the jacket has this pattern, if you step further away, it just looks like a solid color. And because it's not the same color as the sweater, it looks off. The same is true in this outfit. You will have a Glenjack jacket with a houndstooth pair of pants. Both colors are almost the same tone and they're just too close and there's not enough contrast in terms of pattern and color. Now, a good combination would be to pair a softer gray with a richer tan. Likewise, you could pair a softer gray with a darker brown. Just look at all the options you have here. It's really incredible, isn't it? Like I said, it is okay to pair two lighter shades as long as there is enough contrast. For example, look at this light brown twill overcoat with a light gray sweater and a brown hat. The sweater and the overcoat are both light in color, but there's still enough contrast. Also, if your brown and gray are similar in color, you can still create contrast with a texture. Just look at this wide herringbone suit with a stripe compared to the very fine herringbone brown tie. Even though the colors are not as contrasty, it works really well together. So to come up with incredible outfits, keep in mind that the closer the gray and the brown are together in color and the less contrast there is, the better you're off in having different patterns. For example, look at this outfit here. There is a herringbone overcoat in brown with a gray suit and a brown window pane paired with a white and brown striped tie. Overall, it works really well together for this gentleman. Or just think about the endless combinations of gray pants, such as gray flannels and brown shoes. Two, if you pair brown and gray, make sure there is a match in seasonality and formality. You wanna combine an overcoat with flannel, not with fresco or seersucker. You also don't want to wear brown loafers with a dark gray flannel suit without any socks. That wouldn't work together. Traditionally, even loafers were too informal for a double-breasted suit. In this day and age, you can pull it off, but make sure you have a pair of socks and maybe not a woven leather pair of loafers, but maybe just a plain leather pair of loafers. Three, consider adding colors as an accent to make your whole outfit pop. Now, frankly, while both colors are in a neutral family and can just be worn together without any other colors, I find a little splash of color 
can sometimes really make or break the outfit and it's very easy to use all the brown and gray basics in your wardrobe and make it look like an entirely new outfit. Good places for colors are accessories, such as ties, bow ties and pocket squares, maybe your shirt. Or for example, look at this full gray suit paired with dark brown shoes, a blue striped shirt and a green tie. Or for example, look at this darker gray suit with brownish undertones and a reddish brown stripe paired with brown shoes as well as a light green shirt and a green tie. Brown and gray also work well together if you add tones of red or burgundy. For example, here you can see me wearing light gray slacks with a charcoal brown jacket and a red houndstooth tie as well as burgundy red shoes. One of my favorite colors to incorporate into a gray and brown outfit is off-white. Why? It's another neutral tone and it just looks very harmonious, not flashy, but very elegant together. For example, look at those off-white slacks paired with a gray turtleneck, a brown jacket and tan monk strap shoes. It's unusual, it's neutral and it's really classy. Another color I like to add is petrol. For example, here I'm having a petrol blue fresco jacket paired with a white shirt and a gray model knit tie from Fort Belvedere, which you can find in our shop, just like many other accessories in this video here. I paired with a light, almost beige brown seersucker pair of pants, dark brown penny loafers with a woven leather that underlined the summary character of the fresco and the seersucker. Now, in this outfit, if I would have swapped the jacket for a light gray fresco one, I would have a perfect summary combination of just brown and gray. A very easy color to incorporate with brown and gray is blue. For example, if you have a brown corduroy jacket and a gray tie, you can have a blue and white striped shirt. For example, in this outfit, you see the gray overcoat and a brownish paisley tie just paired with a denim shirt. Of course, the overcoat has to be a darker shade of gray, so there's enough contrast between the suit, the tie, the overcoat, and the shirt. The fourth tip is to utilize the optical illusion of gray. What do I mean by that? Well, for example, look at this houndstooth suit. If you look at the individual colors, it's kind of a beige off-white tone and a dark brown tone. So it is technically a brown, but when you take a step back, it looks like a gray suit from apart. So if you combine it with a brown turtleneck sweater and suede boots, as well as a pocket square in brown, you always have that mix between gray and brown, depending on how close you are to the garment. It looks like a very harmonious fall winter season like combination that is elegant, but not over the top. There are also other colors such as charcoal brown, which consist of gray and brown in the weave, so they're both in there, so they easily combine with brown tones and gray tones that always looks well put together. Likewise, let's say you have a suit or pants with a black and white houndstooth. From afar, they look like a solid gray and you can easily pair them with shades of brown, for example, for your shoes. I particularly like the look with dark brown boots and black and white houndstooth. Which brings us to tip number five. Instead of wearing black shoes with your gray suit, think about wearing dark brown shoes. They just make the entire outfit softer, especially if you decide to wear suede shoes rather than regular leather shoes. By doing so, you'll still have a formal outfit that is slightly more casual and just great for fall winter ensembles. I mean, don't get me wrong, a pair of black and white pants will always look great with black shoes, but if you compare it, here we have a black pair of double monks and here's the same pair of pants with some chocolate brown boots. Also a flannel is generally more casual than a worsted and so a slightly more casual shoe such as a dark brown works better versus black. Our sixth combination tip is to pair gray gloves with brown outfits and overcoats or brown gloves with gray overcoats and suits. Traditionally, well-dressed men would not wear black gloves. They would have a chamois yellow tone, maybe something in cognac or in a brown. Or of course, with other suits, they would wear a pair of gray gloves. And you can find all these colors in gloves in our shop here. All right, now that you know the basics of pairing brown with gray, let's look at some specific outfits and how you can learn from them. 
you don't know where to start, having a gray suit with brown shoes is the easiest and simplest way, and chances are you already have both of them in your wardrobe. For example, here's that brown and off-white houndstooth suit that looks like gray paired with a reddish brown shoes. Or I always like to pair my light gray fresco suit with dark brown suede shoes, no matter whether they're boots or just regular derbies. Another cool outfit consists of classic gray flannel pants paired with a brown sport coat. It can be something lighter like this herringbone jacket, or it can be something that has other colors just in brown, but Gray flannel is very easy to pair, not just with your navy blazer, but with all sorts of brown shades. Another great way to pair the colors brown and gray is to have a brown overcoat paired with a light gray scarf. And then you can choose the tie. You can either have a gray tie or a brown tie. It will always look very harmonious, especially if you have a contrasting shirt in white or light blue. Or it's colder outside. Think about wearing a tan turtleneck with a gray suit. That way you can skip the neckwear. It's a little more casual, but still a very nice combination. And of course, if a suit is too much for you, you can always just wear a sport coat and have a non-matching pair of pants. Or look at this gentleman. It's a light gray quilted jacket, a slightly darker pair of gray pants, chocolate brown shoes paired with a beige cardigan and a darker brown tie. If you have a darker brown suit, such as this charcoal brown suit, you can just add gray accessories. It's a little harder because you need something like a white shirt to create some contrast. Otherwise, the outfit can look a little dull. So it may help to add a dash of color in other parts of your outfit. Of course, when it comes to overcoats and gloves, you're a bit limited to what you already have. Personally, I have a bunch of different overcoats in brown. I also have some in gray, and I always play with the color combinations. And I'm not so dogmatic that I must wear brown and gray together, but sometimes it's really fun to force yourself to do it because you come up with new combinations that you would have otherwise missed. Probably my favorite brown and gray summer combination is my light gray fresco jacket, which is part of a suit paired with brown seersuckers. I like to combine them with those brown penny loafers from Scarosso, which have a woven leather, which is very summery and very contrasty to the pants, but overall it just looks very elegant. If you already have a lot of gray suits, an easy way to add brown into your wardrobe is by using ties. Now, you can go with something like a grenadine tie, which is great, and we offer them in our shop, but what's even better is a knit tie because it has more texture and it just creates that lovely, more casual effect. And you can wear a brown knit tie with any other color too, so it's not just limited to your gray wardrobe. No matter if you get something, let's say a Havana brown, which is more of a medium brown, or let's say in a two-tone brown, like the tie I'm wearing here right now, it's just a wonderful accessory to have into your wardrobe that you can pair gray garments. In today's outfit, I'm wearing, of course, a combination of brown and gray with little hints of blue to make it visually more interesting. My jacket is a medium brown herringbone jacket, which is part of a suit. It's very warm in its tone, and so I'm pairing it with a white shirt and a brown two-tone tie. Because you see flecks of white and brown from afar, it could be mistaken as gray. My cufflinks are brown tiger's eye with gold from Fort Belvedere, and you can find it in the shop here, just like the tie. The pants are gray striped and have flecks of blue, which is also picked up by the dark brown and light brown pasty pocket square, which also has elements of blue. The socks are brown solid colored with clocks that pick up the color of the pants and tie over elegantly to my medium brown shoes, which is a mix of the colors I have in my tie and my jacket. If we take a closer look at the pocket square, it has elements of brown that are very close to the jacket. So in theory, it's not a good fit. However, the blue tones and the dark tones create enough visual contrast so it all works together. <laughs>